the coronavirus continues to dominate headlines across the country and the world, and now a Virginia Tech student is helping people monitor the outbreak. As 10 News reporter Coulter Anstead explains tonight, this comes as a Danville woman remains in voluntary quarantine tonight after spending several months in China. Tracking the coronavirus just got a whole lot easier. We have more sources compiled and more often, um, and we've done uh, research into it, so we try to do both uh, data and like information. When Virginia Tech junior Austin Stout and his friends at the University of Virginia and Stanford saw an email from UVA warning people about the coronavirus, they created trackcorona.live to try to improve on other coronavirus tracking websites. Virginia Tech junior Win Hong Win is thankful for the work of Stout and his friends, especially because the coronavirus is something that concerns him. My country of origin is like near Chinese, so like I'm kind of worried about like it's going to spread to my family. The virus is something Mary Yo is also paying close attention to. She and her husband, who pastors the church just outside of Danville, have been taking care of a fellow church member in Danville since Sunday, who voluntarily quarantined herself after coming back from China. I was in Danish with um, for her, left it outside her apartment. Um, she would text me twice a day um, every time she does so she takes her temperature, and then I forward it to the Danville Health Department. The woman has shown no signs of being sick and, assuming she stays healthy, will be able to come out of quarantine February 23rd. Back at Virginia Tech, sophomore Jordan Morris isn't overly concerned about the virus, but the website still gives her some peace of mind. Sure, knowing, like, just having, like, real-time data about what's happening and how it's affecting people. Stout says the publicity the website has gotten is crazy. I'm glad to, uh, to do Tech a favor like that. At Virginia Tech, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you. So far, more than 1,300 people worldwide have died from the coronavirus, and there have been nearly 65,000 confirmed cases. Stout says if and when it finally goes away, he and his friends have not decided what they'll do with their website.